money let's start a program on this mongodb we have mongodb we have payments on users i see inside our user inside our payments we have three payments we have user id one pay two thousand id two two thousand ID two again pay two thousand let's check for who are our users who have user one is Raj user two is Wemo okay let's move to first what we are actually dealing with here is aggregate the aggregate value we have to calculate using aggregate in the query the first statement here is just this one is just like find all db dot payment dot aggregate we are going to find all on our payment I'll just press it here no it didn't work let's try to switch our database first let us use the, the internet database which is first out of 14 we have switched our database let's press the query again and look at it press what was here is here in our payment the trigger documents one to three okay that's good then that is step one we have done with step one we well, understand the aggregate so used to print the aggregate takes an array that will uh, array of operations that you can help to produce things now what are the arrays the arrays are known as stages let us first bring up a lookup stage a lookup stage the one that brings uh, bring a join between two collections the one that you are being referenced to for example this very one we are referring to payment and then the lookup where do you want uh, which table you want to join on users the feed the local fields local feed for the user id and the primary key for the uh, payment is id and the foreign key is also what id let us copy this thing and see what will happen now we are joining table with a join a join using on condition if you are taking it like in my sql let's press and see press enter if you look at this if you look at this now the number id id one now this payment is being renamed this is being renamed as user we are selecting from users they are renaming our result as user and this is our result as user the user who is getting here is user one name is Ralph. all of these things i didn't put inside a read what if you don't want it to be in array or want to perform other operations on it okay that is stage two that we have finished Mm -hmm. now let's take let, look at it we can remove that thing by using unwind the unwind remove values from array and when you use the unwind you need to project and this projection carry the unwind will carry the array that we talked about here is the array user and then unwind what user unwind is a keyword user is from here then project we take project we take the rename value and then the value for it the field value for it for example the field value for this one id is from the payment amount is from the payment but since we want to get name from the user just say this use the unwind user dot name let's see what will happen as our result now okay let's put this thing press enter good if you can compare this result now now the i the normal id is here at the default id then id cost one amount 200 name is rough look at this it's not like this one again it's not side array we have choose what to print inside this very value it's only this name that is good stage one stage three is done now let's take notes and go to one now what if we want to group 
like even in my square we have a keyword called unique when you say unique or anything that we should bring values on any columns on any column you should bring values that are just same values that are same they should join it to be one now this unique on this very aggregate lookup group we are saying the unique the our grouping id our grouping id is what yeah here it is our grouping id we are naming it to be id then the value for it is id where is this id is coming from from the payment all you say if uh, not from from it is is the id from the projection here just take his id from the projection there let's copy this one too and paste and see what will happen the journey is here is the same thing what we are adding now is the group stage we start from here to here there's to this last school bridge there's a different we are adding this one to that last one now i'll copy this come on my mom gradient first it look at what you do it's a group it into we have this result have one one two one two two but now we have two one well, that we have group it based on the id and we're having that the id is two and id may be one now what if we want to add these fields these particular fields that are here again to our results that's our next stage adding those feeds require another thing for you to display other feeds from the group group have some operators since you are grouping is taking it each group have so many values can have two can have more than two or sometimes you can even have one okay so if the group is a number you can sum the total number or be or can just put one to sum to count the number of things that exist in the group or you can choose the first value out of it or choose the last value there are also other operators like to concatenate which are not covered here but let's look at this very example now where the group okay we are summing this group here is our group is starting based on that id we have ended that particular one now we are trying to say okay project sum sum i change it should not be corresponding to this sum because this sum is a keyword as i stated here project is summing mm -hmm. the sum is summing what amount and the name of okay now i want to project name and the name i want to take the first name out of it and the value for name the first name then the value for it name this is what is going to give us as our feeds as what is going to show us up but the value is taking first value on the name field our id is going to take first value from the id field you know that uh, the other um set have more than one id one two but here you have two one that means one id is being removed one id is removed based on the group grouping structure now if we are taking there are two values existing if we are taking it that means we take first or last or we can sum it or if it's a string we can concatenate let's go back to this and taking first value of, out of this if you look at this very one it's just this very action is just simple as this name oh, my bad this is just simple as this particular name the name value is providing name again good let's copy it now paste it on our this press enter look at it providing the idea of two the sum for it is 4500 the name is this ribbon and the id we are projected id twice look at it there's id, ID projection twice we are projected id and you see id is two let us go up and see this id was provided at first as a primary key for grouping and now again this id is being projected from the other end 
look at, let us look at what the amount was this particular feed you having two thousand and this if you sum this thing you have four five but let me edit this thing so that you can see another thing for example if i don't want amount to be there i just want counting you can say okay not amount i'm removing the amount let me put five uh, let me put one for example if you want to just to count it this one is showing you that this one have two values this one have one value right summing this thing up to one let's move to the last remember my battery is down now this last we have done this thing okay if you like you can of course select what you wanted to project now again this is just another projection after this thing it's a stage of projection but if you like and omit this one and the values will still be the same now we are projecting the summit to be our amount it will help us to rename our that summit intermediate value to be amount again let's first and see press enter our summit now is an amount we have removed that id we have just projected a few feet and this id here we have the default that will make it to be zero i have provided zero them id two thank you for watching think this step a lot let me end it before the battery will be down what is happening